Hey everyone, thanks again for joining on Sealed for Good. Today I'm talking about water stops and how they're used in waterproofing applications. Now, there's some really good information out there in the marketplace from specialists that will give you guidance on how to use a water stop, but you should not just come and waterproof your area. Let's talk about bathrooms. Just go and waterproof your bathroom and walk away and think, oh, the water stop's someone else's issue because you haven't done the waterproofing application correctly if it hasn't been integrated, particularly with shower alcoves. Now, the whole, you know, back in the day, everyone wanted a shower tray, then we went to shower hobs to create like a tray, but everyone likes this nice sexy step down with the screen, uh, shower screens, etc., into the shower, or a seamless integration between the external floor and inside the, the shower alcove. Now, different states have different regulations with falls and, and how we treat that. My belief is we should always waterproof the whole floor of a wet area, uh, particularly bathrooms where there's a shower alcove, whether that's a ground floor or upstairs. But how you integrate the water stop, it needs to be integrated before the membrane, so you seal the membrane to the water stop and ensure that if you've created a water stop across the shower alcove, that if you were going to flood test, that water is contained inside that alcove and the water stop does exactly that. Now, where the issue comes up at times is where a waterproofer might do it and then the tiler comes in later and says this is actually lining up where I wanted it or where I've got my tile or where the screed bed's gonna go. That's why it, it's really good when a tiler is doing the waterproofing and doing that shower alcove, or the tiler and the waterproof have communicated carefully together first to ensure that where that water stop is lined up and positioned is where it needs to go for the tiling application so there's no compromising on that water stop. Now the other part of where water stops need to be looked at, and this is where we see it so often ignored, is at doorways. You know, we talk about the shower alcove, but we often forget about installing a waterproof water stop at the doorway of a bathroom area, particularly when they're going to have screeds installed. Sometimes we just see a plastic angle or a metal angle of silicon over the membrane before the tiles go in. And if there was ever, for any reason, a flooded floor, and we so often see architraves and carpets outside of bathrooms starting to get wet because you've got no water stop that's sealed as part of the membrane system. It's an afterthought. It needs to be integrated as part of the application. It's something that just needs to be an automatic piece when we're talking about waterproofing applications where there's tile beds. Water stops need to be part of the conversation and part of your application. If you'd like to discuss this any further with our team, please do that. If you need to get hold of anyone who's an independent out in the marketplace, there's many good building consultants out there that would know about this, check them out or check with one of our Gripset team out on the road, they can help you there. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Silver Good. Let's be part of that change.